Hello! Welcome to another stream with Bandito Dean. It's me, the Bandito. Um, doing more WWE 2K23. Uh, did not stream yesterday. Um, I kind of just wasn't really in the mood to do so, but we do have a second stream this week anyways, because on Saturday... Uh, we will be doing, the JFS will be doing Ultra Hardcore Season 37, which I will be attending. Um, I will be streaming that at sometime in the 4 o'clock hour uh, Eastern Time. Because uh, I requested to get off work at 2.30 Central, which is 3.30 Eastern. It would take me about 30 to 40 minutes to get home. Once I get home, then I'll get my stuff set up and start streaming. So it'll probably be closer to 4.30 Eastern. Um, the UAC itself will start at 5 Eastern. And then just run for about two hours-ish until we uh, declare a winner. So uh, that will be stream number two this week. But um, we are going to be doing... Probably going to be doing a pretty long stream uh, this time around. Because I do want to hop on the server today uh, after we get into some WWE, some JFS Wrestling, in which we are doing the Madness Pay-Per-View. Um, let me switch to, to me. Hello. Um, turn this music off. <laughs> so... We got a stacked card today. I think we got like nine matches or something. Uh, everybody, uh, every wrestler that I've created uh, so far has a match in this. Just make sure I do have everybody. Is Canuck in here? Yes, he is. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Lots of one-on-one -on -one matches, but a couple tag teams as well. So... Um, any kind of updates? I did a slight tweak to the JFS Madness Arena. Nothing that you obviously haven't seen it yet, so it doesn't really matter what it looked like before, but I made a small tweak to it. Um, I also gave everybody finishers. Uh, every wrestler has uh, two unique finishers to them. Um, some, some of the JFS guys have... An entire moose set that's dedicated to like or that's a copy of an actual WWE guy um, so some of them are going to be acting like some of the WWE guys here in doing so some people's stats have changed too so that's going to shake things up quite a bit so um, anything else there's really no life updates just thinking real quick, make sure. Yeah, it's been very quiet here. Very quiet here. So, um, so yeah, let's just jump into it. So I got the first match uh, set up. Um, oh yeah, gonna make it a title match. You just click onto the screen. Championship. Yep. Is the women's title match between Miss Red Star and Boo? So. Just make sure we are going to cut to the correct thing. Yes, good. So yeah, Red Star won the women's title off. Well, it was vacant last week. And uh, Red Star and Boo collided in what was a rematch from week one. Uh, they came back to fight for the women's title. Um... Boo kind of dominated Red Star in the mixed tag match in, during week one. But um, Red Star fought back and uh, got the win for the women's title uh, last week. And this is kind of the rubber match between the two. They each got one win. And uh, now, very cool OBS. I don't think it transitioned properly, but here we go. 
I did not finish um, all the custom intros, I should note. So... Just close a couple things. There we go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, <laughs> he faded out of existence there. That's, that's pretty unique. Yes, this is the Madness pay-per-view, the Madness arena. Yeah, here's Boo. Making her way to the ring. I feel like, I think this, be, because this is a championship match, I think the intros are a little bit different here. But, like I said, Boo won the mix, was pretty dominant in the mixed tag team match. And her team ended up winning that match. Um, I, know, I, think they, I don't think they even won, because Mary's 0-3. So, they didn't, they didn't even win that match, but Boo was the dominant member of that match. But uh, she did lose in the women's title match last week uh, to Red Star. And now this is kind of the official rematch uh, between the two. And here comes the champ. Making her way to the ring. It's Red Star J brushing off the haters. <laughs> yeah, like I said, uh, Boot got the better of her in the mixed tag team match, but Red Star was able to battle back in time to win the JFS women's title. Again, shrugging off the haters as she st <laughs> struts to the ring with the title around her waist. But will she walk away with it? That is the question. Oh, taking a bow. Introducing the challenger from Australia, Boom the Boss. Who's excited for this one? And her opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. She is the world heavyweight champion, Redhead J. Red Star looking to uh, retain her title in this match. Just a straight up, straightforward one on one match. No gimmicks, no random craziness. Just these two duking it out for the women's title. Both competitors are ready, and here we go. And Boo immediately <laughs> charges in. House of Fire. Stomping Red Star to the mat. And she's going to pick Red Star up into a big suplex. Boo trying to get back to her dominant ways from week one. She adds some stomps in here. But Red Star gets back up. And big knee to the face. Now she's going to take over here. Big kick to the back as well. Red Star has been undergoing a lot of training in these few weeks. She doesn't want to be seen as a weak champion. And uh, no better way to be proven how strong she actually is. Huge dive over the top rope. That's one way to do it. I was going to say she needs to retain the title. Now they're fighting on the outside. A couple stomps to the back. Kicks to the face. She's tying, tying Boo up in a bit of a hammer lock. 
wrenching on the arm. But she can't she can't win the match out here. She could retain by count out. She does have the champion's advantage. If they win by count out, uh, she retains. If she loses by count out, she retains as well. But she throws Boo back into the ring. He's gonna join her in there, but huge yeah. flying Superman punch from Boo. And she's gonna take over here. But that taunting's gonna cost her. Elbow to the back. And Boo's thrown over the rope, speared out of the ring. And Red Star's going to the top rope. Going for another crazy move here. Flying Superman punch off the top rope. And the count begins again as these two duke it out. Oh, a huge knee by Boo. Or by Red Star onto Boo, I should say. Boo is getting back into the ring. See if she can gain some momentum back here. She throws Red Star into the ropes. Tackles her to the ground. Smashes her head repeatedly into the mat. Red Star gets back up. Thought she was going to throw Boo back over the ropes, but ends up with a knee instead. Going for the pin here. Nope, kick at it too. Now she's just toying with Boo, letting her get back up to her feet in the corner. But Boo's going to take advantage. She's going to counter. And she needs to do something here. Just rubbing it in with a couple kicks to the face. Now she's just yelling at Red Star. Big drop kick into the corner. And Boo, huge her Karana. Not going for the pin yet. She wants to wrench down the arm now, trying to pull it off. That's not going to be enough. There's a widow's peak there. Going for the pin now. Kick at a two. Big right by Red Star. She's going to take over here. Flips Boo over in a tree of woe position. What's she going to do here? A couple knees to the chest. There's nothing Boo can do about it. Now Red Star's taunting. Goes for a kick in the corner. Now she's just choking, choking Boo out. And the ref's just letting her do this. She's just standing there and watching. Big knees to the face, too. What's Red Star going to do here? Some more, some more lefts to the face. A stump to the gut. Now she's going back up to the middle rope. Big splash on the Boo. Going for the pin. This could be it. Nope, kick out it too. Red Star can't quite put Boo away just yet, but she's going to go back up to the top rope and try again. Telling Boo to get to her feet. Flying Superman punch from the top rope. Oh, and she's got her in a head scissors. Figure four head scissors. Boo could get choked out here if she doesn't tap. Is she going to tap here? Stuck in the middle of the ring. Nope, she wrestles her way out of it. But cannot take over. Wait, maybe she can. Elbow to the face. She's going to try to take over here. Big slam. Clothesline to follow it up. So Boo's trying to take over, trying to gain some momentum here, but it looks like Red Star is going to fight back. Here we go. Red Star for the pin again. And that will be enough. Red Star retains the women's title.
thought it would be it with the Widow's Peak there by Boo, but ended up not being enough. Red Star pretty much just had it from the beginning. Here is your winner, and still World Heavyweight Champion, Redhead J. Red Star retains the title. Okay. Pretty solid match to kick things off here. And we're going to go from one title match to another here. Uh, right, I got to make sure I'm marking these down. So, let me just bring up my notes. Nope. Let's see, notes. Not that one. Okay, so. Red. Yeah, Red Star J. Uh, retains. That's the word I was looking for. Retains. Women's title after being Boo. Okay, so next up, we are doing. One of the tag team matches. This is the tag team title match. Oops, hold on. I gotta change the arena. Okay. So who we got on the card here? Ah, yes. Dakota and Tiny. We're gonna face off for the tag titles against the Red Scare. Which is going to be Asus and Weather. Tag titles on. Yep. So yeah, Asus and Weather won the tag team titles not too long ago. Uh, Dakota was in that match for the tag team titles originally. Uh, but his original t tag team partner was not a good fit for him. So, he sought out a new tag team partner, talked to Tiny Stranger, and uh, they had a non-title match last week against the Red Scare, and came off with a win, which uh, earned their tag team championship bout here. So, Dakota's easily got my favorite intro. He's my favorite entrance. <laughs> Comes running to the ring. Setting off Pyro as he goes. Chaos <laughs> and fire. He makes his way to the ring. Here comes his tag team partner. It's the little guy. <laughs> it's Tiny Stranger. So I know I said I didn't give people custom entrances or I didn't continue that. However, I think when um, giving some of the wrestlers move sets that match uh, actual WWE stars uh, looks like their entrance is copied over as well so that's why <laughs> Tiny is flipping about like he is uh, pretty fitting for him and here come the tag champions Weather and Asus from Team Red Scare from the Red Scare excuse me they're looking to defend their titles against Dakota and Tiny they were able to uh, defeat Dakota and I believe it was Alpha as his tag team partner. I don't remember who Dakota teamed up with. But couldn't solve Dakota and Tiny in the non-title rematch. So this one is just going to be a straight up tag team matchup. Just like the previous one, just normal rules. Uh, disqualifications, countouts, rope breaks are all 
uh, a thing in this match. So uh, we haven't really had a normal tag team match since week one. So I wanted to kind of include one in here. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the Action Championship! Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 316 pounds. And their opponents at a combined weight of 494 pounds. They are the Action Champions, the Red Army! The in-ring announcer just completely glossing over Dakota and Tiny. So, as you can tell, they got something to prove here. Yeah, they weren't even worth a proper introduction, apparently. But uh, if they win these tag titles off of the Red Scare, it may change everything. So, Dakota's going to start in the ring against Aces, and the match has begun. A bit of a slower start up. Normally Dakota is the one flying through <laughs> through the air here. But instead Aces is just going to drag him over towards the corner where Dakota's going to fight out of it. A little bit odd there. Dakota up onto the t middle rope with a big moonsault onto Aces. Dakota's going to take over in this match. Now he tags in Tiny Stranger. He's just going to take over here. Oh, Aces went for a dropkick, but miss. That's going to allow Tiny to uh, take over. Or at least continue picking Aces apart like uh, they were going to. And he's going for the abdominal stretch in the corner. Aces is an entire ring away from his tag partner. So all he can do is muscle himself out of it. Now maybe Aces will gain some momentum here. As again, he's going to try to drag Tiny to the corner. But again, <laughs> Tiny elbows his way out of it. I don't know what Aces is trying to do. I think he wants to put someone in the corner there so he can do like a maybe a double team move. But, oh, Tiny went for something and missed. But Aces was able to dodge out of the way. And here he goes. He's bringing Tiny to the corner again. This time he successfully put somebody into that turnbuckle and now the double team move that he wanted to do from the beginning is is being done with uh, an assisted flying headbutt and now weather's going to take over here and Tiny gets up ooh huge kick to the face is going to follow it up with a suplex going for a pin here But Weather kicks out. Aces climbed into the ring, but uh, <laughs> didn't seem like he was in too much of a hurry to do anything. A tiny stranger gets thrown into the corner. And Weather taking his good sweet time picking him apart. He's just wrenching the arm around the top rope here. He's going to do it again. Oh, weather's going up. What's he going to do here? Oh, he's just choking Tiny out in the corner. <laughs> he's getting some boost from the crowd for that one. Now he's just going to taunt. He's taunting Aces, but that allows Tiny to tag Dakota in. And Dakota, this huge kick to the face. I think it was a broke kick. Yeah, he's just taunting Weather. He was trying to crawl his way over to Aces. Dakota's now the one taunting. As Weather makes a tag to Aces. I don't know if that's a good idea because Dakota, as you were showing here, uh, kind of has Aces' number. Oh, but he got distracted by Weather and now Aces can take over. 
thrown into the ropes. Blocks a kick. Starts throwing some rights of his own. Tosses Asus into the turnbuckle. Now he's going to take his turn wrenching the arm on Asus. Stealing a bit from Weather's book here. Huge drop kick by Dakota. Now he's going to tag in his tag team partner. Tiny's going to get back into this. Oh, huge senton. A cannonball senton by Tiny. And he's going to go up. Nope, he's just taunting. I thought he was going to go up for something special there. Asus is laid out. Oh, Tiny's going to tag Dakota back in. That's all he wanted to do. Just a single senton and a little bit of taunting. That's okay. Dakota seems to have uh, Asus figured out. For the most part, Asus is now uh, proving me wrong here. He hits Dakota with a nice suplex. Follows it up with a little elbow drop. Now he's going to go tag in Weather. Dakota hasn't really fought Weather yet. Ooh, Weather went for a clothesline, but Dakota had it blocked, and now he's going to suffer a suplex for it. Oh, by a big kick. And now Dakota's tagging Tiny in. Big Bulldog by Tiny. Now, big right hand. More right hands from Tiny. The little guy making some big moves here. Such as that suplex. Now he's going to the top rope. Is it going to actually be something? Ace has tried to stop him, but it looks like he's not going to. Oh, he's reaching for him, though. Tiny wants Weather to get up. And here he goes. Huge drop kick from the top rope. He's going to go for the pin. I don't think Weather even tried to stop him. <laughs> Big stomp to the back of the head by Tiny. Oh, but he missed that knee. Now Weather's going to take over. In, into a pin but Dakota breaks it out breaks it up my words are failing me <laughs> Ooh, weather shaking off the haters a little bit there just a little shrug yeah, maybe there's something there but Tiny's going to counter it a kick to the knee Off the ropes and a big knee to the face by Tiny. And now he's going to the top rope again. Huge senton from the top rope. Is he going to go for a pin here? Yes, he is. Could this be enough? Oh, Dakota got in the way of the ref and that allowed Aces to run in. <laughs> Unfortunate situation there. The ref was ready to start the count, but Dakota got in the way. Now Tiny is going after Asus. As both members of the Red Scare are now on the ground outside of the ring. And Dakota's going after Weather now. It's all... Oh, <laughs> Tiny tried to fly through the middle ropes, but miss. It's absolute chaos here. As Tiny gets back in the ring. And is hoping that nobody saw it, but there's a, an entire crowd here. It's Aces is going to try to take over in this match. Or weather, I should say. I don't know who I'm looking at. Aces is back up on, on the uh, ringside there. Oh, weather counters a big elbow. Fighting back with the right. Belly to belly suplex. It looks like he's going to go tag in Aces. Now 
I spent a lot of time to take over, though. He drops Ace's stem. Now he's going to attack Dakota in. Dakota's probably the freshest person here. Not just in style, but in stamina. He's, he hasn't really uh, spent as much time in this match. Oh, huge move there. Big kick, too. All flash there. And he's going for the pin. The Aces kicks at it, too. Oh, I think Tiny went for something, but Weather blocked it. Dakota wants to get Weather out of the ring. That might be a big distraction for Dakota. He's got to be careful. But yeah, he was careful. He knew Aces was there. Now Aces rolls out of the ring, and now Tiny and Dakota can kind of double team on Weather there. And Weather's knocked out. Oh, Dakota over the top rope, <laughs> right onto Aces. It feels like uh, Dakota and Tiny have the Red Scare's number in this. As Tiny smashes Weather's knee, he could have broken Weather's leg right there. Oh, a backbreaker by Aces. And Tiny's still just smashing the knee of Weather. As Dakota gets back in the ring, he wants... Oh, he, he went for another dive onto Aces, but completely whiffed it. Ah, and Aces spears Tiny out of the ring. Now this is the two of them. Big kick by Dakota. He could go for the pin right here. Nope, Weather's up. Oh, rolls through. Pele kick. Could this be it? Nice, gonna pick Aces back up. Big Hurakurana. Doing some taunting over there, but that allows uh, Aces to tag Weather in. But Dakota tried to go for something, but Weather blocked it. Now Weather's gonna try to take over. Oh, now Weather's just wrenching on the back of... Dakota here. Went for a kick, but Dakota blocks it. Now Dakota's going to take back over. Fisherman suplex. Oh, he's going for the Pele kick again. But Weather wisely rolls out of the ring. And Dakota wisely <laughs> slides underneath the bottom rope. But he's going to meet a belly-to-belly -belly suplex for his, uh, for his troubles. Definitely better than the plancha that he had done before. Probably thought better of it this time. But uh, it kind of cost him either way. Because now they're fighting on the outside here. Once again. Big right hands from the both of them. Oh, Hurricanrana. And that knocks Weather down. Ooh. Dakota went for a knee drop, but missed. And Weather throws Dakota back into the ring. Again, don't want to get counted out if you're the challengers. Because you won't win the title that way. Oh, Dakota, drop kick to the back. Weather looked like he was going to turn to uh, go for a tag. And Dakota picks Weather up. Big drop kick. Picks him up again. And a big suplex. Oh, now he's going to go to the top rope. I think that's a 640 splash. Going for the pin. Oh, and Aces just manages to break it up. Tiny tried to go after him, but miss. <laughs> the Dakota's going to go for it again, though. <laughs> Another 640 splash. Could this be it? Nope. Aces kicks it out.
or breaks it up. Is Dakota going to go for another one? <laughs> oh, a shooting star instead. Now he goes for the pin. Will this be enough? Nope. Asus is there to break it up again. Uh, at some point, uh, Dakota's going to learn that Asus is the actual problem here. I don't know if uh, Tiny got all of that, but here comes Dakota up to the top rope again. Went for a splash on weather, but miss. Dakota's determined to make those top rope moves work as Tiny gets thrown out of the ring. Weather gets a kick to the gut. Another kick to the gut. What's he got here? Will this be enough? Drops him down. Oh, he's going to go into a modified... I think it's a Boston Crab. Can Dakota hold on? Weather's well, got him all tied up here. Could he tap out? Asus is in the ring because he knows Tiny's getting up. Oh, and Dakota breaks breaks his way out of it. Not over yet. The weather's fighting back again. That would have been crazy if Dakota pulled off all of those top rope moves only to uh, to lose <laughs> to that. Oh, going for a pin here. All Weather did was stomp on his elbow, but Tiny's going to be the one that breaks it up this time. And Aces is there to uh, try to throw him out of the ring. Dakota now in the corner. This weather just rubs the boot, scrapes the boot across Dakota's face. That's how he lost his eye. It was from a previous uh, matchup where someone <laughs> did that. A bit of fighting going on to the outside there. Rose for Corona by Tiny. Dakota's out cold right now. Oh, Weather's getting ready for his finisher. But Tiny Stranger's up. I think he's going for it again. He's going to go for that modified Boston Crab again. Here he goes. He's going to grab the arms, tie him up. Now will Dakota tap out this time? Tiny's right there to break it up, though. He does do just enough to do so. Big knee to the face by Weather. He's gearing up for an elbow drop. This team Red Scare is completely taken over in this match. Now he's going after the leg. <laughs> trying to break Dakota's leg like Tiny was trying to break Weather's leg. I think Dakota's leg might be broken. The way he's the way he's selling it. But Weather gets him up to his feet. He's gonna drag him towards the corner. More successful than Asus was. <laughs> He's going to tag Asus in. I think Dakota's busted open. A huge right by Asus. Yeah, this has been all Red Scare for the past few minutes here. Big DDT. It's just going to go for the pin here, but Tiny's still up. And Tiny's going to break it up here. Aces and Tiny are duking it out. Aces got him up on his shoulders. Into a powerbomb position. He's going to powerbomb him right out of the ring. Dakota's in a bad spot here. Oh, but he's going to counter. Big scoop slam. Going for that pin. Could this be enough? 
Nah, Aces kicks at it too. Weather was a little slow going in for uh, to help him. And what's Dakota going for here? A big moonsault. Probably hurt him just as much as he hurt Aces. Oh, now he's going to go to the top rope. He's looking for that 640. And he's going to hit it. Will it be enough? Well, no, Weather's going to come in to break it up, though. It feels like Dakota's probably had this match won like several times over by now. <laughs> but people like Weather continue to uh, get in the way. And finally, Tiny Stranger is going to be able to tag back in here. He hasn't been back in this match for a while. A big chop by Tiny. Now kick to the back. Nakoda and Tiny have uh, taken over. They survived the onslaught by the Red Scare early on. Or earlier on, I should say. Now he's stuck in that abdominal stretch. The weather's going to break it up. Kick to the back by Tiny. Just kind of toying with him right now. Oh, he's going up to the top rope, though. What's he got in mind? Oh, he went for the senton, but completely missed. That's going to allow Aces to come back into this. Grabs him by the hoodie. And now he's going to go for the pin here. But Dakota's right there. Yep. This match could go on for a while if we're not careful here. That's a huge elbow drop by Aces. I'm just, just taking a look at some of the bots in chat. <laughs> As this match continues on. Aces thrown to the rope, or Tiny Tone thrown to the ropes. Oh, swinging neck breaker. Aces is fired up. These guys don't have much energy left amongst them all. So this match has to end soon. Because <laughs> I don't think these guys have much left in the tank. Oh, a huge kick by Tiny. He's going straight for the pin. But Aces is right there. He's not trying to break it up. He gets out of the ring. <laughs> Aces just gave up on weather. And Tiny Stranger and Dakota are going to win the tag team titles. What happened there? <laughs> what? What was that? We're going to have some explaining to do here. But uh, I'm going to have to write this down. So Tiny and Dakota are your new tag team champions. So they win tag titles. Here are your winners. Not the Tahoe titles. They still don't even get the respect of uh, hearing their names from the ri ring announcer. But there you go, the tag champs. Uh, Asus abandons <laughs> weather. That's crazy. That's something that I was not expecting that <laughs> at all. Well, that's some of the craziness that you'll get here at GFS Wrestling. Aces completely just got out of the ring and left Weather to lose the match and the titles for him. So, we're going to have to find out 
uh, what comes of that, uh, I guess, <laughs> in next week's show. Because, uh, oh my gosh. Speaking of crazy rivalries, <laughs> we're going to move on to another one that's been spanning uh, several weeks. Uh, Mixon and Newsman Mixon have been duking out uh, in and out of uh, the arena. We saw them fighting inside Newsman Mixon's own home uh, last week. And then they had, uh, what was a last man standing match? And now, this might uh, end the feud here as they're going to go into uh, Hell in a Cell. I gotta actually fix that. <laughs> uh, hell in a Cell. Heck in a sec. So here, let's get the superstars. We got Nixon. And we got... Where is he? Newsman Mixon. Yeah. Just making sure I got everything. Yep. I think we're good. Yeah, let's start off. So, yes. Uh, this all started with uh, their loss in week one against Team Ace in the War Games match. And from that point on, the Mixons just completely imploded. Ghostman Mixon was also a part of this, but uh, he was able to win his way into what we'll see in the main event, uh, Ghostman versus Nixer for the JFS title. Um, they did have a triple threat match in which Ghostman won and basically left the feud with that emphatic win and basically left these two to fight amongst themselves. So, the following contest is a Hell in a Cell match. Making his way to the ring from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 300 pounds, Max the Wonder Boy. So yeah, Mixon and Ghostman Mixon, or Newsman Mixon, I should say, have been feuding ever since week one. They fought backstage. They fought Newsman Mixon's home. They had a last man standing match, which I believe Mixon won that. If I remember correctly, one of the Mixons won that. It's hard to tell them apart. <laughs> you know, they only wear different suits. But this feud will basically, could potentially end it all. And his opponent from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 300 pounds. The real deal, Max News. The newsman Mixon making his way to the ring. Going straight to the ring. He's not messing around here. He feels personally insulted by uh, the home invasion a couple weeks ago. Or last week, I should say. And now, they're going to duke it out in a Hell in a Cell match. The cell's being lowered. We are about to begin. What has been an absolute bloodbath between these two. Mixon gets thrown into the turnbuckle by Newsman. Newsman's taking over early. He smashes his face right into the turnbuckle. Oh, but Mixon kicks his way out of it. Now he's going to take over. And a big shoulder tackle by Mixon. I think this storyline started off as uh, just a, a lo losing a match. That was it. That was enough to uh, send this uh, stable into turmoil as the Mixons completely broke apart by then. Uh, nobody wanting to take the blame for the loss. But Ghostman was able to uh, 
kind of win his way out of the feud by winning the Royal Rumble match to become the number one contender, and then also winning the triple threat match between the three Mixons, which, uh, in which he, you could say he abandoned the, the three Mixons, or the other two Mixons at least, and has kind of left these two to kind of duke it out amongst themselves. You see Mixon's just throwing and smashing Newsman into the side of the cage. He does it again, but this time Newsman falls down. He's going to get right back up, though. Might have been a fake out. Hits him with a big uppercut. Another right hand against the side of the cell. And he's going to smash his head against the cell. They're kind of just stumbling their way around this place. Gives him a big right. Another uppercut. Mixon stumbles around the stairs. Now he's going to try to get back into the ring, trying to create some space here. You know, a newsman with a big knee to the gut. Picks him up. And he's just carrying him, uh, him around up onto the shoulders. Snake eyes onto the top rope. He's going to go for an early pin here. There's a kick at it, too. Mixon gets back out of the ring. Yeah, now he's going to try to take over here. Ooh, a headbutt. These two stumble around the outside again. Uppercut by Newsman. We're going to stumble around the stairs some more. Mixon's just throwing Newsman around. Newsman can barely stand right now. And now Newsman is thrown it back into the ring. Oh, what's Mixon looking for? He's got himself a chair. Brought it into the ring, probably not going to use it. <laughs> Mainly because Newsman's right there. Saw him the entire way. Now he hangs him up onto the turnbuckle. No, he just smashed him into it. Tossed him aside like he's nothing. Basically, the sentiment that Newsman has been uh, giving to Mixon the entire time. Mixon blocks a chair shot. Oh, and Mixon's got him by the hair. Big clubbing blow to knock him down. Mixon's got him up for a big power bomb. Huge power bomb. He's got him by the leg. What's he gonna do here? Trying to drag him around now. I think he's trying to position him on top of the chair. He's gonna go for another power bomb. And again, he's just going to drag him around. <laughs> Probably showing Mixon how he feels like uh, he's been carrying the team this entire time. With the way he's just dragging Newsman. So both guys big on their symbolism tonight. As Mixon just dumps Newsman out of the ring. Unceremoniously. Nope, Newsman gets in the ring. <laughs> Mixon was going to come out to get him. And that allows uh, Newsman to try to take over here. Oh, and they run into each other. He things are canceled out, but Newsman is able to recover first. He brings him over to the turnbuckle. Again, smashes him into the turnbuckle, tosses him aside. Yeah, he's picking up the chair again. This time he connects with a big chair shot. And another one right to the head. Oh, he tried to go for a third, but Mixon rolled out of it. Knocks the chair out of his hands. Oh, 
Oh, big bear hug into a suplex. Oh, is he going to? Yep, he's just going to start dragging him around again. Must be really degrading <laughs> to continue doing that to, uh, to Newsman. Again, just showing the crowd how how he has to drag his teammates around all the time. Big ending by news by uh, Mixon. This might be enough. Going for the pin. Oh, but Newsman kicks out. And he's right back up. Huge shoulder tackle by Newsman. He's telling Mixon to get up. Looks like... Oh, Mixon with a belly-to-belly. -belly. That could be enough. But Mixon says no. He wants to go to the top rope. He wants to put Newsman away for good. Huge elbow drop from the top. Will that be enough? Mixon says no. He thinks he thinks there's got to be more. Of course, Newsman rolled out of the ring, so he's got to go get him. That Mixon's a little stuck, though. He's going to check under the ring for a weapon instead. Now he's got a sledgehammer. He puts that in the ring instead of uh, carrying it with him. Smashes Newsman into the side of the cage. They're going to make the rounds again, by the looks of it. Throws him again. Oh, is Newsman going for another weapon? <laughs> Gonna grab something else to throw into the ring and not use? Or maybe he's just taking a breather. He's just going for a walk now. Yeah, he just wanted to get some distance. Trying to take a breath here. Now he's coming back. Grabs Newsman, big uppercut. Uh, Newsman's trying to fight back, though. Big uppercut for him. He's going to smash Mixon's head into the cage. Now he throws Mixon into the ring. Oh, I think he's trying to get Mixon up. What's he got in mind here? Oh, he tried to go for something, but Mixon wormed his way out of it. Elbow to the face by Newsman. They run into each other again. That was apparently a memorable moment for the star rating. But another big ending by Mixon. This could do it. And it is. It's enough. Mixon defeats Newsman inside Hell in a Cell. I think uh, Mixon's been kind of the dominant one of the two here, here is your winner, throughout this feud. As much as Newsman continues to try to fight back, it's always been Mixon coming away with the win. So maybe it's time Newsman uh, moves on from this feud to uh, you know, maybe take on somebody else. But a uh, pretty solid match nonetheless. And take me a sip of water. Okay. We are chugging them right along here. So next up we got the UK title match. Anything special on this one? Not at the moment. But uh, I'm getting a word in my ear that it's going to be a ladder match. And it's going to be, of course, uh, Muckluck versus none other than the Shah Sanaa. 
with the title on the line. So yeah, Shawson won the uh, UK title off of Muckluck. Or not off of Muckluck, but in a steel cage that featured Muckluck. And Muck uh, feels like that uh, he deserves to be the UK champion because he's actually from the UK. Pretty simple storyline. And of course, Muck had to win his way in to be the number one contender. And he did. So here he is, uh, facing off against Shawson in a ladder match for the UK title. The following contest is a ladder match and is for the WWE United Kingdom Championship. Here comes Muck. the challenger. From England, weighing in at 228 pounds, the mouth of the South, Mac Lance. Muck making his way to the ring. He fought his way into this number one contendership. Defeating some, a, a bunch of opponents. He beat Mary and Tiny in a triple threat match. To make his way in. <laughs> totally didn't lose and then had to have the match restarted because nobody saw it. <laughs> it went it fair and square <laughs> the first time. But he's gotta he's gotta take this title away from the champ. Just Shawson. He doesn't even have the title on him. It's kinda weird. Representing the Red Army from Little Rock, Arkansas. Weighing in at 170 pounds, he is the WWE United Kingdom Champion, Austin Shaw. Now, of course, Shawson faced off against Nakeser in a champ versus champ match, and uh, Nakeser was the dominant figure that he was for the first couple weeks of GFS wrestling. So Shawson's got a bit to prove here. He took a week off last week, decided to uh, be the manager, uh, in a match, <laughs> trying to remember, it was Dakota and Lemons, wasn't it? Or Dennis and Lemons, excuse me. Where Shawson was in one corner and Muck was in the other. Or was it Dennis and Muck with... <laughs> Shawson and Dennis' corner and Lemons and Muck's corner. You know, it's only been a week and I don't remember anything. <laughs> Either way, I know Shawson wasn't in that match. And uh, he's sitting out. Decided to take a week off to prepare for the UK title match. But Muck has been fighting every week. I'm pretty sure he was in that match last week. But Muck's taking over right away. Huge lefts and rights. Big boot to the chops. And he's going straight out the ring. He's grabbing that ladder. He wants to end this match now. Oh, but Shawson gets a drop kick in. A stomp to the arm. And now a kick to the back. Pretty fast-paced matchup to to uh, start off here. Oh, now what's Shawson going for? He's got himself a chair. Muck setting up the ladder, but uh, he saw Shawson coming in here. Not enough though, because Shawson is taking back over. Big shoulder tackle. Now Muck rolls to the outside. That's going to allow Shawson to climb the ladder and go straight for the title. Very smart for Shawson to try to end this thing quickly. And Muck's right there. Now they're going to duke it out on top of the ladder. A couple right hands from Shawson. Oh, <laughs> Muck smashes Shawson's face into the ladder and again. And a third time. Now he's just going to kick Shawson off of the ladder entirely. Now he's alone up there. 
So now he can go for that UK title. Shawson looks like he's already getting up. Mux fumbling with that uh, combination lock that's uh, keeping the title up there. Shawson better hurry because I think Mux getting the hang of it. Oh, and Shawson pushes the ladder out from underneath him. Catches Muck into an electric chair. Now Shawson is taunting. Probably not the right thing to do because Muck's right back on his feet. And it's going to take over once again. Oh, a hip toss by Shawson. I'm not sure what he was thinking of doing there, but he decided to think better of it. Oh. And a spinning elbow by Shawson. Now he's picking up the ladder, but he gets clotheslined by Muck. It's a really fast paced match. Big power bomb by Muck Luck. Oh, he's pumping up his shoes. Oh, and he went for something, but Shawson was able to duck his way uh, out of the way there. A shooting star, standing shooting star press from Shawson. Picking Muck back up here. Big right hand by Shawson. Oh, now he's got him up. Fall away slam. Now he's going up to the top rope. Wow, frog splash by Shawson. Muck's out cold, but Shawson's not done with him yet. Gonna feed him more right hands. What's he gonna do here? Now Muck's all the way out of the ring, so now Shawson can go for that belt. Muck better hurry, though. Oh, no, Shawson got out of the ring. He's not done with Muck yet. <laughs> he decided he wants more. That's gonna cost him, though, because Muck just stripped him up here. Shawson should've just gone for the title. Another fall away slam by Shawson. Well, a headbutt. And that busted Muck wide open. He's just going to add more right hands to it. He wants to make Muck bleed even more. Another headbutt. And Shawson gets back in the ring. Now he's going to climb the ladder. Now he's going to go for the title. He's got one more lock unlocked on the combination, but he fumbles a, a couple times with it. And again, he's, he's, he's fumbling with it. Oh, but he got the second one. He's just going to get one more. And he does. <laughs> Shawson... Manages to retain, just barely. Muck's going to have to uh, go after the UK title another time. So Ra Shawson retains. Here is your winner. UK and still title the WWE United Muck. Kingdom. Champion Austin. Oh. Now Muck looks that uh, cold. Interesting. Quick match. Probably good to have a quick match after uh, the craziness we had in the tag team bout. But Shawson retains the UK title. So we're going to make a bit of an edit to the to the card here. I'm going to move one match forward on the card. So this one's a bit unique because if you watched uh, last week's show, you'll know that Mr. Red Star let me find him. Mr. Red Star had a match against Nakeser. And uh, he almost had that, he almost lost that match due to a random 
appearance by none other than Shelton Benjamin. <laughs> and so, uh, in this match, we are going to have Red Star face off against Shelton Benjamin. Uh, normally, we wouldn't have, uh, we wouldn't be uh, opening the forbidden door, but uh, we got special permission for this one night only. As Red Star is going to face off against the Shelton Benjamin. And Shelton didn't really do much in that interference, but it was enough to uh, get Red Star off his game, if only for the moment. But uh, they're going to settle things here. Shelton's going to be the first one to come into the match here, into the ring. Fresh from the WWE. It's scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Orangeburg, South Carolina, weighing in at 248 pounds, Shelton Benjamin. Yeah, I wasn't really sure why Shelton interfered. We don't know if Nixer had uh, had intended for this to happen or if Shelton was just trying to make a statement. On a random show. We believe he and Nixer had some sort of conversation before before last week's show. Which is why he showed up. He didn't do much. Yeah, like I said, his mere presence was enough to distract Red Star only for a moment. Red Star picked up the win anyways. So now he's gotta answer to Red Star directly. And his opponent, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 219 pounds, Rick Starman J. I like how Red Star has a towel over his head when he also has a hoodie on his uh, jacket here. Let's get to the match. So yeah, a bit of a bit of a random matchup here for this pay-per-view, but Red Star wanted this match. Ooh. I think he sent his homework on Shelton. I hear Red Star has been a, a pretty big WWE fan. So he probably has studied uh, Shelton's history. Uh for years <laughs> he's got a lot of inside knowledge on uh, how Shelton works but Shelton has taken over already the difference between uh, watching them from a TV and actually facing the wrestler first hand in the ring Shelton's gonna go for a big suplex here Oh, but Red Star's back up. He's going to hit Shelton with a big DDT. Off the ropes. Big suplex. And Shelton's going to roll out of the ring. That's going to give Red Star a chance. Nope, he's going to slide out the ring. He thought better of it. Probably watched the Dakota match earlier. Give Shelton a big suplex. Now he's wrenching the arm. Probably want to go for the legs on Shelton. Cause that's a high-flying athletic individual there. He throws Shelton back into the ring. He does not want to win by countout. Ooh, big drop kick. I don't know if he got all, all of it, but he got enough. Another arm wrench takedown. Really working that arm. He's going to go for an early pin here. Kick out of two. A big right by Red Star. Again, wrenching that arm, bringing him back down. A big right. 
Another big right. Another big right. Uppercut by Red Star. Oh, Shelton's taking over. Flapjack. Now he's going to go for a pin. Shelton drapes Red Star over the top rope. Oh, Red <laughs> Shelton was going to go for something, but Red Star just threw him off of the turnbuckle. And now he's going to take back over here. Oh, a huge knee to the face. Red Star's uh, done quite well in this matchup, considering he's fighting against a, a WWE guy. Of course, he just whiffed his two moves there, but we're going to <laughs> ignore that bit. Oh, Shelton trying to run away from Red Star, but it didn't work. And he's going to have to fight back instead. Oh, a huge su suplex. I think it was a T-bone. Go for the pin. But it's a kick out of two. He picks Red Star back up. Another finisher. This might be it. No, kick out of two. Man, I thought that was going to be it. <laughs> Red Star had the momentum. It would have been poetic for Shelton to just pull off two big moves to win the match, but not going to go down that easily. And now Red Star's fighting back. More right hands. Big suplex into a pin. Kick out of two. Hey, throw Shelton into the turnbuckle. Big uppercut. Excuse me. Bring Shelton over to the ropes. What's he gonna do here? Oh, ducks a clothesline. Hits him with a clothesline himself. Not done with him yet, though. Trips him down. Guys can go up to the top rope. Huge elbow drop to the back. He's going to try the pin again. But nope, kick out of two. He has to really put Shelton Benjamin away if he wants to win here. I think Red Star was trying to signal that this match is going to be done soon. But Shelton's got other plans. Top rope splash by Shelton into a pin. Kick out a one. Not going to be enough. Oh, huge DET by Red Star. This could be it. Nope, rope break. Too close to the ropes. That was a shame because uh, you probably had him beat there. Oh, Shelton's fighting back. Big suplex by Shelton. Red Star rolls out of the ring. And Shelton following him right out. He's just hitting him with punches and kicks. Another big right. Back drops him right onto the barricade. Oh, Red Star rolls out. Of the Starts taking over again. Nope, Shelton counters. Kept toss. Now they both get back into the ring. Ooh, Red Star, big kick to the gut. Oh, what's he going for here? <laughs> I, thought, I thought Red Star had something in mind there with that weird taunt. Oh, he tried to go for something, but Shelton countered his way out of it. 
Oh, this might be it. And it is. Shelton Benjamin picks up the win on Resistar. So Sheldon <laughs> shows up to distract Red Star mid-match last week. And uh, Red Star fell into the trap of challenging him for a match. And uh, he paid the price for it. But he put up a pretty Here's solid fight. Shelton Benjamin! Probably could have picked up the win, too, if it weren't for that one rope break. But unfortunately, that is not the case here. Shelton Benjamin is going to pick up the win. He's going to take that win back to WWE. Uh, Shelton Benjamin beats Red Star. Okay. That one is done. Let's see. We have four more matches to do here. So we're past the halfway point. I think I'm just going to go in order. Yeah. So this one is what well, might be the end to the Dennis and Lemons feud. Could be a Falls Count Anywhere match. So, uh, the storyline goes, uh, Dennis was in the Money in the Bank matchup and, uh, decided to not participate. Lemons, uh, did not appreciate that. Tried to fight him in a steel cage. And Lemons won. He <laughs> out-escaped the escape artist. And, uh, then, uh, Dennis, uh, took on Muck last week. And Lemons tried to distract the ref to help Muck win, but it did not work. And now they're going to go into a match where you cannot es escape because escaping doesn't matter. <laughs> because falls count anywhere in this match. You can win from anywhere in the arena. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Red Army from the Netherlands, weighing in at 220 pounds, Dennis Fox. Dennis making his way to the ring, unfazed by the pyro. Somebody's a fan out there. So yeah, Dennis cannot escape Lemons this time. Because uh, he can get pinned anywhere in this arena in this Falls Count Anywhere match. He feels like he hasn't backed down from a fight since the opener uh, on week one. But uh, Lemons still wants to try to prove him a lesson. so Or teach him a lesson, not prove him a lesson. I don't have a way with words. <laughs> All right. Here comes his opponent. And his opponent from New Zealand, weighing in at 219 pounds, the boss. Sam, shy girl. The lemons is ready to go. He was the main one that took exception to uh, Dennis not participating in the Money in the Bank ladder match. And he's going to try to put this rivalry to bed once and for all. Technically, you could count this as a rubber match because Lemons won the steel cage match and then Dennis won 
against Muck despite Lemons being in Muck's corner and trying to distract the ref a couple times. So it kind of is a rubber match. We'll see. Dennis versus Lemons falls count anywhere. No disqualifications, no countouts, no rope breaks. It's win by pinfall or a submission anywhere in the arena. And Dennis is starting off strong. But Lemons is right back up. There's some punches to the face by Lemons. Tossing Dennis into the turnbuckle. Smashing his face into it. Big chop. And another. And another. And just choking him out in the corner. Lemons has taken over early here. Back into the turnbuckle, Dennis goes. A scoop slam by Lemons. Going up to the middle rope. Big knee drop from the middle rope by Lemons. Going for an early pin. But you got a one by Dennis. That's going to go up to the top rope. Maybe he just needs to get a little bit higher. Uh, now he's telling Dennis to get up. Double axe handle from the top rope. And a little bit of taunting for good measure. Just to rub it all in. And now Dennis is back up on his feet. Ah, big scoop slam from Dennis. Yeah, knee of the face. Or face to the knee, more like. Oh, now what's Dennis doing? Whatever it was, it worked. <laughs> Oh, now he's going to smash the knee right into the map. But Lemons gets right back up. And he's going to eat a clothesline in the corner, though. Dennis not going for a pin yet. He's going to go for a big ol' splash. Still not done yet. A little taunting going on. Big right, big kick. Picks him up. Again, I think Lemons is uh, realizing he's bitten off more than he can chew with Dennis. It might have been a good reason why Dennis didn't participate in that ladder match. It was something to the hand. Could break some fingers there. A big spinning right hand by Dennis. Oh, now he's just showing off. Now he goes for a pin. That's like a kick out of two. Dennis wants a faster count, though. <laughs> Not happy with uh, how slow Lemons is counting. Well, big spear by... Dennis knocking Lemons to the outside. And again, he can pan anywhere. Lemons gonna pick him up. Huge F5 by Lemons. Now he's just taunting. Oh, shoulder tackle by Dennis. Kind of a glancing blow. Lemons is gonna throw Dennis up the ramp. Why is there a count out? Oh, I probably didn't put false count anywhere on. <laughs> it's a normal match. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Means I might win by count out here. Well, if it does end up in a count out, I might have to restart the match. I don't think we want to end on a count out at a pay-per-view. Because it doesn't look like these guys are going to uh, make it back in the... Oh, no, Lemons is going right back.
So is Dennis. This was supposed to be false count anywhere, but I seem to have forgotten to do that somehow. Weird how I uh, forgot to set it up while I was talking about it. But to run into each other here. RKO by Dennis. No, oh, Lemons fights his way out of it. Clubs the back of the knee. Now he takes Dennis up. And unlike Dennis, he was successful. Tried to go for a finisher, but Dennis blocks it, counters it. Scoops him up for a slam of his own, finisher of his own. This could be it. And it is. So the not false count anywhere match, the false count in the ring match, uh, is won by Dennis. I am going to uh, let that one count, in spite of the Here's fact that uh, Dennis Fox Dennis beats Lemons. What if it was just Dennis's plan all along to call it a false count anywhere match? Huh? And Lemons believed him, <laughs> took him up the ramp, and then heard the ref counting. <laughs> I was like, wait. You mean it's not a false count anywhere match? It it could be some 4D chess on Dennis's part right there. Very sneaky. It was totally not a blunder by the guy <laughs> running the show. All right, so that one is done. So this next one is going to be a triple threat match. We got two guys who... Uh, Still need to win a match. And a guy that we actually haven't seen since week one in this one. So we got Panda Leader taking on uh, the Merry Gamer. Where is he? And... Mr. Money in the Bank himself, uh, MC Jonas. So yeah, Panda and Mary have yet to win a match, and MC hasn't been seen since he won the Money in the Bank contract. He could cash in at any time, he just hasn't yet, probably, probably biding his time, waiting for the right moment to cash in. So... Pretty simple storyline here. Two guys looking for their first win. One guy, Mr. Money in the Bank, looking for looking to go two for two, basically. Second win in the second match. All right. Ooh. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Israel, weighing in at 219 pounds, the Phenom, Pamela Leah. I try to think of a better combination of names for some of these. Is a uh, a panda making his way to the ring. It's like zero and three. So far on the season. So he's trying to break the losing streak. But so is his opponent here. And his opponents, first from Australia, weighing in at 219 pounds, Mary the Gangster. Mary is 0 and 2. He lost the mixed tag team match. As well as the Fatal 5-way. No, he's 0-3, isn't he? Because he was in the Muck Luck 
tiny, yeah, he's in the Mukluk tiny Mary <laughs> triple threat match for the number one contendership. And then he was in the fatal five way match with Panda. So he is 0 and 3. Panda is uh, 1 2. Isn't he 0 and 4? Panda might be 0 and 4. Because I know Mary, I think he skipped a week. I'm pretty sure. Either way, I know they haven't won a single match yet. But uh, this guy's won a match. And it was a very important one. Because he's Mr. Money in the Bank. He's got a briefcase that he can cash in at any time. For a championship match. And from no place in particular. Weighing in at 163 pounds. Crazy M. C. So yeah, he's Mr. Money in the Bank. He could interrupt the main event if you wanted to. And try to win that match. He's got an entire year to to do so before uh, that briefcase is forfeit. He's three. They're ready to duke it out. There is no disqualifications in a triple threat match. So we could see some weaponry used here. Well, Mary and Panda go straight for each other. And MC's going to take advantage. The two guys who haven't won yet decided to uh, try to take each other out early on. And they're both going to pay the price for it. Um, Panda's going for an early pin, but Mary's right there to break it up. It's a little too early for that. Oh, Mary and Pandy. Pandy. Uh, Mary gets a DDT on Panda. He's going to eat a couple, eat one German into a clothesline from MC. Oh, Panda went for something, but he slipped. <laughs> MC gets to take over. He's doing some Shane O'Mac moves there. But he uh, eats a zigzag by uh, Panda. Now, big right hand by Panda. He's going to get a kick by Mary. Now Mary's going to take over in this match. MC's <laughs> MC was just watching for a second. He is still watching. Biding his time, letting them take each other down. Oh. MC went for a dropkick but missed. It was enough to distract Mary, though. Flying Superman punch connects, though. Now Panda eats a knee to the face. He's going to roll out of the ring while MC takes over against Mary. Ooh, kick to the face by Mary, though. Apparently, that's taunt-worthy. <laughs> that allows MC to get back in this. Punch to the gut. Panda's looking for a weapon. He's got a steel chair. Will he use it? Big clothesline. Oh, MC saw Panda with the chair and took over. Now he's got the chair. He's going to hit Panda with it, but he used a clothesline. And uh, I think that chair phased out of existence. Oh, man. Mary. What a crazy way to choke MC out. And MC rolls out of the ring. A stomp to the hand by Panda. I think the chair phased into the ring, is what I'm hearing. You can hear it rattling around. These three are just going at it. Nobody's really gained a, a firm upper hand yet. Okay, Mary, you don't have to put yourself in a vulnerable position for MC. <laughs> Not the smartest move from Mary. Just sat down and let MC uh, take over. That allows Panda to, to uh, pick MC up for a powerbomb. And he just throws MC across the ring. Now he's going to go up to the top rope. He might be a little too far away for any move, but Mary's in the ring now. Oh, and he interrupts, throws Panda off. He's going to turn his attention to MC, going for a sleeper hold. 
But Panda's going to break it up. Oh, it went for a spear, but Panda caught him with a knee instead. Now Panda tying Mary up, going for a suplex that bro almost broke the game. <laughs> going for a pin. But MC basically waited <laughs> to break that one up. And now he's going for a pin. Kick out of two. Big, big right hand by Mary. Now he's going to go for the pin. <laughs> Panda's out of the ring. He has a kick out of one, though. Yeah, Mary's going out of the ring. He's looking for another weapon, I think. Yep. He's got a chair. Superman punch by MC. He's going to get a chair by Mary, though. He's going to go for another chair shot right into the knee. He's threatening Panda, but Panda is not buying it. I think that's another chair that phased through the through the ring mat. Now MC has to break up the submission. Oh, big kick by MC. He's going to go for a finisher here. This could be it. And it is. A fast-paced matchup is won by MC. So the two guys who have yet to win still have yet to win. Uh, Panda's now 0-5. Mary's 0-4. MC beats TMG and Panda who have yet to win still in all caps. Here is your winner, Crazy MC. So you know what that means. Mr. Money in the Bank can go home victorious, but uh, Panda and Mary are probably going to have to duke it out amongst themselves <laughs> to uh, break this uh, losing streak. So that's going to be a rivalry that probably won't end. It hasn't been a direct rivalry yet, but uh, yeah, somebody's going to win out of those two. <laughs> Somebody has to win. Okay, so we got two more matches left on the card. We got one more tag team match, which which might take a little bit, and uh, then we get the main event. This tag team match is a bit of a filler one. It's kind of just everybody else, um, but we are seeing. Oops, actually that is correct. We are going to be seeing uh, the return. Uh, I'm gonna do a tornado tag for this one. I'm gonna see the return of Team Ace. As Ace the Mech and Dean Love uh, step into the ring against Canuck and Zalpha. So I think Ace and I just looking through the roster here. Yeah, Ace and I is the only wrestler who does not have a match tonight. So, and there's no way that I can add a manager for this. Otherwise, I would put Ace and I in Team Ace's corner. That's okay. He can have a week off. <laughs> I think he actually won his match last week, so. But, uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have a spot on the card this week. But, uh, Maybe we'll see him uh, next week's show. But yeah, this is just kind of a thrown together match. We haven't seen Ace the Mech that much uh, lately. And Dean Love only came back last week, if I remember correctly. Canucks debuted Zalpha. We haven't seen as much. So this is kind of... Um, a match for the others in the card. Got to give him a paycheck, right? Give him that pay-per-view paycheck. Nice pyro. The following is a tornado tag team match. On the way to the ring, 
at a combined weight of 550 pounds. <laughs> yes, the Banditas. Team Ace is uh, rebranded. As they make their way into the ring, Dean Love and Ace Mech, winners of the War Games match. Uh, and then both of them kind of uh, disappeared for a couple weeks. Probably nursing some uh, injuries from the War Games match, but Dean Love was in action last week. Asimek has returned uh, after a bit of a longer absence. But they're ready to go in this match. Who knows, if they win this, they could go for the tag titles. Be an interesting feud against Dakota and Tiny. But first, they have to get through these two. And their opponents, first, from wherever he wants, weighing in at 219 pounds, the Wanderer Cannon Bacon! Canuck making his way to the ring. He debuted last week in the Fatal Five way. I did not end up with a win, so he wants to bounce back from that. I'm going to hurry through this intro because it's kind of long annoying one yes tag team partner who I believe also was in that match last week and from Los Angeles California weighing in at 163 pounds young boy Z Z Alpha also wasn't seen much lately he's putting that fatal five way match with uh, Dean Canuck, Mary, and Panda. It was Dean who came away with the win that week. So, Zalfa is looking to bounce back with a win of his own. So, yeah, this is a tornado tag. So nobody's tagging each other in, but I believe regular match rules apply, so there can be disqualifications and countouts. Here we go. Ace goes after this alpha, quite fittingly, as Canuck takes on Dean. And Ace is going to toss this alpha out of the ring. Oh, what's he going to go for here? Oh, it got interrupted. He ran right into Canuck. <laughs> Hits a drop kick on him. And Dean with a spinning code breaker. Oh, a huge clothesline just sends Alpha out of the ring. But Alpha gets right back in. Knuck is working on Ace on one side. Dean is tossing Zalpha on the other side. Going for a pin here. But Knuck's going to break that up. Well, kick to the gut. More kicks, more punches, more slaps. Dean bouncing off the ropes. Now Pele kicked to Canuck. Oh, and a standing. <laughs> Another one. As uh, both Banditas are uh, taking over here. Ace going for an early pin. Big elbow drop from Dean. Oh, now the Banditas are... We're singling out. Oh, Ace over the top rope gets... <laughs> does not connect with Canuck, but Dean does connect with Zalpha. It's a 50% success rate there. But uh, looks like both Banditas are taking over either way. Ace stomping on Canuck on one side, and Dean... Wrenching the arm of Zalpha and the other. A standing shooting star from Dean. And Ace is just taunting Canuck, telling him to get up. 
And Canuck's going to throw him into the ring. Dean counters into a DDT on his side. Yeah, he's running around to get to Canuck, but Canuck's getting into the ring. Dean's going to follow him. But, but now he's going to have to eat him. Uh, I thought it was going to be a bulldog, but I think Canuck pushed him out of it. He's going to turn into a DDT. That's going to bust Dean open. Or bust Ace open, I should say. But he just stomps onto this Alpha's head. And the Banditas start taking over once again. A big kick by Dean. Big right by Ace. Teaming up on Zalpha. Dean tried to go for something but missed. Uh, the Bandia's got to work on their teamwork a little bit there. A little bit of communication would have paid off with that one. Ace is beating up both these guys by himself. Big face plant in the middle of the ring. Yeah, stomp to the back. Now we got a, a head scissors. Oh, big club to the face by Ace. I think he busted Canuck open. He's going to do it again. And yeah, the banditas are just all over Canuck and Zalpha. Probably helps that these two are an established tag team while uh, Canuck and Zalpha are kind of thrown together. Oh, combat roll by Ace. Not sure what that was for. No, now Canuck's taking over. Spinning on Ace. <laughs> A uh, slap to the back of the head. Oh, and a slap by Dean to the face of Alpha. Oh, he's going for a weird looking pin. But Canuck kicks out. Not sure what kind of pin that was. Oh, Dean over the top rope misses. Alpha was able to dodge out of the way. Oh, his apple's now all over Dean. His palm strikes to the face. Meanwhile, Ace, I think he did his finisher, but the cameraman <laughs> looked the other way. But Zalpha just barely managed to uh, break it up. That could have been it, and we could, we would have missed the finisher. Uh, but now Dean's got Zalpha up. Snake eyes on the top rope. And the Bandidas are back taking over. Ace going for the pin again. Oh, another pinning predicament. <laughs> again, the Banditas just taking over. Oh, Canuck cut the knees up on the shooting star press. And this alpha rolls out of a dive <laughs> by Ace. <laughs> Has been a lot more back and forth than I expected out of these two. Zalpha up on the top rope. Thinks better of it. He's kind of by himself in the middle of the ring here. Oh, but a huge kick by Ace. Dean gets picked up by Zalpha. Zalpha with a huge kick to the face. Dean over the top rope onto Canuck. And Dean's kind of by himself outside here. Or in the ring, I should say. But he's up on his feet. A springboard clothesline. What's he want to do here? Going up to the second rope. <laughs> and a big elbow drop. Going for the pin. That's going to be enough. The Banditas pick up the win. Again, probably a result of being an established tag team. A little bit unfair for uh, Canuck as Alpha, but the Banditos beat Canuck Oop. and Zalpha. Here are your winners. So the Banditos pick up a win.
you might see them turning their attention to the tag team champions uh, in next week's show. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Huge burp by the commentator. That's going to get him disqualified. <laughs> Big apologies for that. That one just escaped. But we are on to uh, the main event. The one we've all been waiting for. Ghostman earned this opportunity way back at the Royal Rumble. And then he had to uh, face off against Ace and I, who he beat at the Royal Rumble, to uh, win the number one contendership. Um, Ace and I fought his way into a match against Ghostman Mixon to add himself as another number one contender for the JFS title. But uh, Ghostman was able to beat him. So, uh, Ghostman gets Axer all to himself. So, let's see. All that is good. Turning title match on. Just going to double check the options here. Everything is good. Yep, we are going for the JFS Championship. Ghostman Mixon versus Nixer for the JFS title. On Nixer's side of things, he beat Panda in dominant fashion to win the World Championship, the JFS Championship. Then he beat Shasta in dominant fashion in a champ versus champ match. And then he defeated... Uh... No, then he lost to Red Star. Oops, very transition. <laughs> I don't know why I did that twice. It's scheduled for one fall, and it's for the World Heavyweight Championship. So yeah, Nixon wants to bounce back from a loss. He wants to put that loss behind him, and uh, he's hoping that that did not ruin his momentum going into this title match. Ghostman Mixon is the first one into the ring. He had to uh, put a rivalry behind him as uh, his own team imploded. But he was able to kind of win his way out of the rivalry. I'm sure the other Mix Mixons still don't uh, like the way he's handled things. But considering Ghostman's kind of gone on Further up the card compared to the other two, uh, he kind of distanced himself from the other two and from the rivalry. And here comes the champ. Fully geared up today. Headphones on and everything. He needs some pyro. <laughs> Go with those moves. But yeah, Nixer's been a dominant force for a couple of his matches, but last week didn't look that way as uh, he lost to Red Star, who might have something to say to Nixer if he manages to retain. Either way, Red Star might want to look into uh, going for that JFS championship. Even if his loss to Shelton Benjamin might have uh, set him back a little bit. But uh, it's okay. Because <laughs> Shelton's not even in this show. He's a WWE guy. He shouldn't have, shouldn't have even been here t to begin with. But apparently Nixer probably made a phone call last minute. Found out that Shelton Benjamin was in town for that match last week. So either it's way. The challenger from Nashville. Tennessee, weighing in at 300 pounds, Max the Ghost. And his opponent from Finland, weighing in at 275 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, Nate. This 
is going to be a good matchup here. Yep. <laughs> Mixon's ready to go. Been a long time coming. You won that Royal Rumble match in week one. And you had to fend off uh, someone trying to interfere or get a, get themselves involved, inserted into this match. Uh, didn't want to have anybody getting in the way of his uh, chance at a championship here. As he's going to start with an early upper hand on Nixu. Including a big headbutt. A stump to the knee. Stump to the other knee. A stump to the arm. He's going after all four limbs. He's going to pick Nixer up. But knock him right back down with a spinning punch. And a face to the knee. Oh, now he just tossed Nixer across the ring. Kind of get the feeling that that loss to Red Star might have rocked Nixer a little bit. Nixer's getting back up but again because his face slammed into the knee of Mixon. He's been to all Mixon so far. Ghostman's been preparing for this one for weeks. Been amped up. Wait, well, thrust Nixer into the announce table. And now back into the ring. Oh, and Nixer rolls out of an elbow drop, and now he's going to take over. Big drop kick. A kick to the hand. He picks a mixin up into a power bomb. Now Nixer is taking over. He scoops Mixon up, but Mixon's going to elbow his way out of this. He's going to take right back over here. Got wrench tilt to whirl slam going in for an early pin. Kick out of two. Mixon's or uh yeah, Mixon's going up to the top rope. Mixer's still not on his feet. Uh, Mixon wants him up though. A big flying shoulder tackle. Now he's going to go up to the other turnbuckle. <laughs> Goes for a big splash onto the back of Nixer. Sounds like he broke a few things on the way down. Probably broke his headphones. Kick to the gut. And a code breaker. Going for the pin again. Ah, oh, rope break. Nixer got lucky there. Punch to the face. It's pretty much been all Mixon. Mixon only got in a little bit of offense in the beginning. Oh, well, now Mixon's going for the finisher here. And it's another running code breaker. In for the pin. This could honestly be it. And it is. Ghostman Mixon wins in dominant fashion to gain the JFS championship. I gotta say, I feel like here is your winner and new world heavyweight champion, Max. The ghost. You gotta feel like that loss last week might have shaken Nakeser up a bit. Now Ghostman is your JFS wrestling champion. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Okay.
What a show. <laughs> what a crazy pay-per-view, huh? So yeah, that pretty much brings to the end of uh, JFS Madness. I'll go through the, the results once again. So Red Star, Miss Red Star, uh, retains the women's title after beating Bufadine. So I'm pretty sure that feud is over. Uh, Tiny and Dakota win the tag titles off of Aces and Weather after Aces abandoned Weather at the end of the match. So I feel like there's a bit of a dissension there in Team Red Scare. Uh, Mixon finally puts the uh, the feud to rest against Newsman. And uh, yeah, I think that feud's done. That was in a Hell in a Cell match. Shawson re retains the UK title over Muckluck in a ladder match. Mucklock's not going to be too happy about that one, but Shawson manages to retain. Uh, Shelton Benjamin beats Mr. Red Star J after interfering in their match uh, last week uh, that Red Star had against Nakeser. Red Star still managed to win that one, so I don't think he's going to uh, worry too much about Shelton after this one. Uh, Dennis beats Lemons. Yeah, it's supposed to be a false count anywhere match, but I think Dennis uh, played some mind games in that one. And uh, tricked Lemons into believing it was a false count anywhere match when it was not. Um, MC beats TMG and Panda in a triple threat match. So Mary and Panda still have yet to win <laughs> a single match. Uh, MC did not cash in his money in the bank contract either. So that's a big thing to uh, make note of. Not really sure what the parameters are for that in this game, but... Kind of hoping that's that's why he that's honestly why I kept him off the card for the past few weeks because I was like he could cash in at any time, you know. So uh, the Banditos, that's Ace the Mech and Dean Love, uh, beat Canuck and Zalpha in a tornado tag match, and for the main event, Ghostman basically just completely obliterates Snakeser to win the JFS title. So JFS or uh, Snakeser uh, gets a taste of his own medicine after that one. So, uh, pretty crazy. So yeah, that will bring the end to uh, uh, the WWE portion of this stream.